Dear students, welcome to the video trigonometry. In addition to the three main trigonometric uh, ratios that you studied in AS level, including sine of theta, cosine of theta, and tan of theta, there are three uh, more commonly used trigonometrical functions which uh, also are known as reciprocal trigonometric uh, trigonometrical functions. Uh, reciprocal of sine of theta is 1 over sine of theta, uh, which is known as cosecant of, uh, cosecant of theta. Reciprocal of cosine of theta would be 1 over cosine of theta, known as secant of theta, and reciprocal of tan of theta is 1 over tan of theta, which is known as uh, cotan of theta. Uh, if you remember the trigonometrical uh, circle in which uh, we uh, were using uh, actually coordinates of the point uh, in order to uh, find uh, main uh, ratios for uh, some uh, main angles actually we learn that sine of theta is y over r cosine of theta is equal to x over r and tan of theta uh, is equal to y over x uh, let me construct a circle here again Now, this is the circle. Now, here, y and x axis. Here uh, is the angle theta. Now, this is x, this is y, and this is radius of the circle r. So sine was opposite side over hypotenuse, y over r, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, x over r, and tan is opposite over adjacent, y over x. Now, for this reciprocal function, so uh, cosecant of theta is 1 over sine, it is reciprocal of uh, actually sine, so it will be r over y. And here, secant of theta, which is 1 over cosine, so it is reciprocal of cosine. Cosine is x over r, so it will be r over x. And uh, for the last one, which is tan of theta, cotan is actually uh, reciprocal of uh, tan of theta. Uh, so cotan of theta is equal to x over y so cosecant r over y secant r over x and cotan is uh, x over y for uh, these are the actually ratios we have for these three reciprocal trigonometrical functions now the other points that uh, we learned in that circle was x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared because you know, x-axis and y-axis are perpendicular to each other so they make a right angle triangle so uh, hypotenuse uh, will be the radius of the circle r so you can uh, apply Pythagoras theorem now as x coordinate and y coordinate are non-zero numbers so I first divide both sides of these relation by x squared as x is a non-zero number so x squared is a non-zero number so you can divide all by a non-zero number so x squared over x squared plus y squared over x squared which is equal to r squared over x squared i will write it x squared over x squared is one plus y over x squared is equal to r over x squared so 
1 plus y over x is equal to actually tan of theta so y over x squared is tan squared of theta is equal to x over r was cosine r over x is 1 over cosine which is uh, actually secant of theta so it is secant squared of theta so it is uh, one uh, important identity which we learn here now second one now i use the same um, relation i divide all by y squared as y is a non-zero number y squared is non-zero so we are allowed to divide by a non-zero number so it will be x squared over y squared plus y squared over y squared is equal to r squared over y squared so i rewrite it x over y squared plus one is equal to r over y whole squared now x over y is cotan squared of theta plus one which is equal to r over y is actually co secant uh, c secant squared of theta so one plus cotan squared of theta is equal to cosecant squared of theta it is the second important identity we learn here uh, the graphs of y is equal to sine of theta and y is equal to cosecant of theta. Uh, as you see, here uh, two graphs of sine of theta and cosecant of theta are in the interval 0 to 360 are drawn. Uh, at 0, uh, sine is 0. But after 0, uh, you are in the first quadrant. And we know that sine depends on y. In the first quadrant, y is positive. That's why cosecant, uh, which is 1 over sine, so it has a... Uh, you know, uh, let me write it here. It would be uh, cosecant is one over zero, a little bit more than zero. So it is in the first quadrant. That's why it tends to positive infinity. But at ninety, sine is one, so one over one will be one. Uh, in uh, one eighty, it again sine is zero. But before 180, you are in the second quadrant where y is positive, and we know that sine depends on y. So if y is positive, it is zero positive. So it will be one over zero positive. It tends to positive infinity. But after 180, you go to the third quadrant where y, uh, where y is negative. That's why it, in the third quadrant you have one over zero negative. So it tends to negative infinity here tends to positive and here negative infinity that's why you see uh, such a graph at 270 uh, it is negative one sine is negative one one over negative one again negative one so it's here and uh, 360 sine is zero so one over zero will be undefined but before 360 you are in the first quadrant uh, where y coordinate is negative so it will be one over zero negative that's why it tends to negative infinity now in this part uh, we see the graphs of y is equal to cosine of theta versus y is equal to 1 over uh, cosine of theta which is secant of theta now at 0 cosecant uh, sorry cosine of theta is uh, 1 so 1 over 1 uh, will be 1 but now 90 at 90 it is 0 that's why you see it is undefined but before 90 before 90 you are in the a first quadrant where x is positive cosine depends on x so where cosine is uh, where x is positive cosine will be positive so that's why it will tend to positive infinity before 90 and after 90 you go in the second quadrant where x is negative that's why after 90 it tends to uh, negative infinity at 180 uh, cosine is negative 1 1 over negative 1 will be negative 1 you see here 
then add 270 again at 270 cosine is zero as you see here but before 270 you are in the uh, third quadrant uh, where x is negative negative maybe but after 270 you go to the fourth quadrant uh, where x is positive it goes to positive infinity at 360 uh, cosine is 0 so 1 over 1 will be 1 so it is the graph of cosine of theta and uh, secant of theta here uh, you see uh, graphs of y is equal to tan of theta and cotan of theta at 0 tan is 0 so uh, cotan uh, which is 1 over tan so it will be undefined but after 0 uh, you are in the first quadrant we know that tan depends on both y and x coordinates so likewise cotan also depend on, uh, uh, depends on x and y coordinate in the first quadrant after 0 you are in the first quadrant in the first quadrant both coordinates are positive so it tends to positive infinity at 90 at 90 tan is infinity so uh, cotan of theta is 1 over tan of theta so it will become 1 over infinity so 1 over infinity is 0 that's why cotan of 90 is 0 now at 180 at 180 at tan is 0 but before 180 you are in the second quadrant uh, where x is one of the coordinates is actually negative so cotan tends to negative infinity but after 180 uh, you go to the third quadrant both y and x coordinates are positive so it tends to positive infinity cotan after 180 now at 270 again tan is 0 so the denominator of the fraction will be 0 so 1 over 0 uh, sorry uh, 270 at uh, tan is infinity so 1 over infinity will be 0 that's why cotan 270 is 0 but before 360 you are in the fourth quadrant uh, one of the coordinates which is y is negative so tan will be negative so cotan is also negative but 360 um, uh, tan is zero so it is undefined but before 360 it tends to negative infinity example one find the exact value of a cosecant of 248 degrees we know that uh, cosecant of 240 degree is equal to 1 over sine of 240 degree. Now, we already know that uh, sine of 180 plus theta, actually you go to the third quadrant, so y is negative, so it will become negative sine of theta but uh, y coordinates are the same so the same sign but opposite the same value but uh, opposite sign so it is negative sine of 60 because you know 240 can be written as sine of 240 can be written as sine of 180 plus 60 degree so we already know that uh, sine of uh, 60 is uh, root 3 over 2 so it is negative root 3 over 2 it is negative 2 over root 3 if you rationalize you multiply both by radical 3 it will be negative 2 root 3 over uh, 3 example 2 solve second squared uh, of x minus tan of x minus 3 is equal to 0 0 x between 0 degree and 360 degree we know that uh, we learn this identity 1 plus tan squared of x is equal to secant squared of x because you have secant squared and tan in one equation we can simply uh, express secant squared in terms of tan so it will become 1 plus tan squared of x minus tan of x minus 3 is equal to 0 so it will become tan squared of x minus tan of x minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0 so you can uh, simply factorize it will become uh, tan of x minus 2 tan of x plus 1 is equal to 0 so uh, one equation is tan of x is equal to 2 tan of x is equal to negative 1 
now we solve this two basic trigonometric uh, equation uh, if tan of x is equal to 2 x will be tan inverse of 2 uh, which is equal to 63 point for you may you, uh, use your calculators to uh, quickly calculate and uh, then uh, we know that uh, tan uh, it will be uh, 63.4 plus 180 63.4 minus 180 uh, so here it will be uh, 243.4 acceptable acceptable but here uh, it gives you a negative answer so there is no need and uh, if you go for complete rotation uh, if you add 360 subtract 360 here or here uh, it doesn't uh, give you any uh, acceptable answers so these are the two answers you get through this equation and now for the next one tan of x is equal to negative 1 so x is tan inverse of negative 1 uh, which is equal to negative 45 degree and uh, so negative 45 uh, plus 180 negative 45 minus 180 this is uh, doesn't give you any acceptable answer but here it gives you 135 degree here it is not acceptable it's not within the range but here it is if you add 360 and subtract 360 from negative 45 again it won't give you um, actually 360 if you add uh, negative 45 plus 360 uh, it gives you 315 which is acceptable but subtraction uh, it won't be within the range here addition and subtraction both doesn't give you any answer uh, here uh, let's check here uh, it is negative 225 if you uh, add 360 negative 225 plus 360 and it is 135 uh, which is already found so and uh, no new answer here so list of answers uh, one of them will be 63.4 uh, I write in ascending order. The second one is uh, 135, then um, 243.4, and last one here, which is 315 degrees. Uh, and thanks for watching this video.